St. Cyril, Patriarch of Alexandria, 434, Alexandria. The praises of Cyril of Alexandria have been celebrated not only by one writer or another, but have even been registered in the Acts of the Ecumenical Councils of Ephesus and Chalcedon. He was born of distinguished parents and was the nephew of Theophilus, Bishop of Alexandria. While he was still young, he gave clear proof of his excellent understanding. After giving a deep study to letters and science he betook himself to John, Bishop of Jerusalem, to be perfected in the Christian faith. After his return to Alexandria and the death of Theophilus, he was raised to that see. In this office he kept ever before his eyes the type of the shepherd of souls described by the apostle and by ever adhering thereto deservedly earned the glory of a holy bishop. He burned with zeal for the salvation of souls and took all care to keep the flock entrusted to him in purity of faith and life and to guard them from the poisonous pastures of heresy and infidelity. Hence in accordance with lay, he caused the followers of Novatus to be expelled from the city and procured the punishment of the Jews whose rage had led them to plan a massacre of the Christians. Cyril's singular care for the preservation of the Catholic faith shone forth especially in his conflict with Nestorius Bishop of Constantinople, who declared that Jesus Christ had been born of the Virgin Mary as man only and not as God, and that the divinity had been bestowed upon him because of his merits. Cyril in vain attempted to convert Nestorius and then denounced him to Pope St. Celestine. As delegate of Pope Celestine, Cyril presided at the Council of Ephesus where the Nestorian heresy was absolutely prescribed. Nestorius was condemned and deprived of his see and the Catholic doctrine as to the unity of person in Christ and the divine motherhood of the glorious Virgin Mary was laid down amid the rejoicings of all the people who escorted the bishops to their lodgings with a torchlight procession. For this reason Nestorius and his followers made Cyril the object of slanders insults and persecutions which he bore with profound patience, for he cared only for the faith and paid no attention to what the heretics might do or say against him. At length he died a holy death, in the year of salvation 434, the thirty-second of his episcopacy after having performed great labors for the Church of God and having composed numerous works, both in refutation of paganism and heresy, in exposition of sacred scripture and in explanation of Catholic dogmas. The Supreme Pontiff Leo XIII extended to the Universal Church the office and mass of this most eminent champion of the Catholic faith in light of the Eastern Church. Amen. O Ramos. O God who didst make blessed Cyril thy confessor and bishop, the invincible champion of the divine motherhood of the most blessed Virgin Mary, grant through his intercession that we who believe her to be truly the mother of God may be saved by her motherly care. Per Dominum Nostrum Iesum Christum Filium Tuum. Amen. Commemoration. St. Apollonia, Virgin, Martyr, 249, Alexandria. Apollonia, a virgin of Alexandria in the reign of the Emperor Decius, when she was far advanced in years, was brought before the idols to worship them, Despising them she declared that worship ought only to be given to Jesus Christ, the true God. Whereupon all her teeth were broken and pulled out, then lighting a funeral pile, the impious torturers threatened to burn her alive, unless she would abjure Christ and adore the gods. She replied that she would suffer any kind of death for the faith of Jesus Christ. Upon this they seized her, intending to burn her. She stood for a moment as though hesitating what to do. Then escaping from their hold, she suddenly threw herself into the fire, for there burned within her the stronger four of the Holy Ghost. Her body was soon consumed and her most pure soul took flight to heaven to the everlasting crown of martyrdom. Amen. O Ramos. O God, who amongst the many marvels of thy power hast granted the triumph of martyrdom even to the weak women, grant in thy mercy, that we who keep the festival of blessed Apollonia, thy virgin and martyr, may by her example, advance nearer to thee. Per Dominum Nostrum Iesum Christum Filium Tuum. Amen.